So in this video, I want to show you how to make the most of your master's or PhD supervision by using free tools that you can find online. And specifically, I want to show you how to turn these meetings into transcripts, how to turn these transcripts into summary of the key points disc discussed during the meetings, and how to turn these summaries further into mind maps and visualizations of the key points that you discussed. So first, let's briefly talk about the importance of recording your meetings, because that will be the starting point. You have to record your meetings. I've, I've mentioned that several times in my older videos, where I said it's generally a good idea. It's generally advisable to record audio record your, your supervisions. And this is uh, for several reasons, uh, not least because uh, it's easier to hold somebody accountable, if there is a need for it, but hopefully there isn't. But most importantly is just to maximize the value of these meetings to make sure that you remember everything. And we have, uh, you have insight into what was discussed, you don't forget any important points. So it's always a good idea to record these meetings. And I'm not talking about sneaky <laughs> recording, I'm talking about officially recording the meetings, you can tell your supervisors that you would like to record your meetings, and I'm sure they'll be delighted to hear that if they haven't uh, suggested that you did already as my supervisors when I was doing my PhD, in fact, did. So what I would do with every supervision, I would record the meeting on this audio recorder, not on the phone. These days, you can obviously use your phone. I used an audio recorder, not sure why. I'm not that old, by the way. I think the phones that could record were around at that time, but for some reason I use audio recorder. Anyway, I used an audio recorder. I would come home, download it to my computer, and then I would listen to it and uh, make a note of everything that has been discussed. So I would, I would summarize the meeting, I would type uh, the key points, and then I would send it to my supervisors. This was an extremely important exercise because as I said, it just helped to solidify that knowledge, help me remember what we agreed on, help them remember what we agreed on as well. And this is very important because quite often supervisions uh, or the, the whole relationship between you and supervisor, eventually there are certain issues sometimes, and quite often this is due to certain misunderstandings. So somebody said something, somebody forgot something, uh, the supervisors asked you to do something, and then they're asking you why you did it. So all sorts of things. So it's just good to make sure that everybody is on the same page. But because these days we are lucky to have access to all these cool tools, these AI tools and technology, this whole task becomes even easier and more efficient and mo most importantly, more effective in the long run with the tools and with what you can actually achieve. So you don't have to do it manually because you have all these tools. Uh, moreover, quite often these days, I do realize that people have their supervisions online. So that's another thing that I I, com I constantly fail to, to recognize and acknowledge because simply because uh, back in the day, uh, I, all, I always had these meetings face to face. So it never occurred to me that you can have an online meeting. Of course, the world has changed significantly in the last decade, basically. So now quite often my students and clients, people I talk to, they say they have their supervision, uh, PhD or master's supervisions online. I think I would still prefer a face to face meeting. But of course, there are different circumstances, different reasons, sometimes you study in a different country. So, uh, so I do realize these do take place. And if that's the case, then of course, if you have access to zoom or or teams, uh, these, uh, this software basically makes it possible for you to have a transcript from your meeting. So that's the, uh, the step number one, step number one, so you don't really have to record your meeting to later uh, turn that transcript into uh, that recording into the transcript. Now, secondly, there is a new update for zoom, I think it literally was released last week. I'm not sure about teams, they probably have it as well, where you can uh, switch on this AI assistant, which means that after the meeting, it will send you an email, a nice message with a summary of the key points during the meeting. So not only do you have access to the transcript as, as you did before, but it can also summarize the key points, which is brilliant. So, so it's already a really useful tool that you can, you can use. So regardless of which scenario, so whether you had your Zoom meeting and then you have your transcript and you maybe don't like it, or you have your face-to-face -face meeting, you had your audio and then you managed to turn that into the transcript. There are lots of tools for that. Some of the tools I will be showing you in a second also uh, will help you, will enable you to use a, an audio file. So you don't even have it to have a transcript. But if you do have to have a transcript, there are plenty of free tools where literally online uh, that you can upload your file to, and it just uh, gives you the transcript. So, so you have your transcript and you're ready to work, to summarize it, to gain additional insights into it. And the first tool that I want to show you is called Notebook LM. At the time of re uh, recording this video, this tool is completely free. To my knowledge, it's completely free. 
I've played around with it a little bit. I'll be recording more videos about it because it's a brilliant tool for several reasons. It's not an affiliate marketing video, so I'm not getting paid for any of that. No links in the description, at least at the time of recording this video. I don't know what's gonna happen in the future, but it's completely free. I have, I earn nothing if you get this tool. I do like it, however, so let's have a look at what it will help you achieve. So basically the first thing you want to do in Notebook LM is to upload the material. So it does have an option to upload audio file. I don't know how good it is. If it doesn't work, like I said, you can first uh, sort out your transcript elsewhere and then upload either a text file or just copy and paste the text of the transcript. Uh, what happens as the result is that it will pro process the whole thing and what it spits out is this nice summary of the document. So it's a great tool also for exploring the literature. Like I said, I'll be recording a separate video about it for different purposes. But now we are with our supervisions. You have your transcript or audio file, you upload it to Notebook LM, and what it gives you back is this nice summary of everything that happened, basically, that happened in that file, whether it's a text file or an audio file. So you have a summary of the key points and summary of your meeting. Now, what you can also do with that tool, you can interact with it. So you have this uh, this chat basically where you can ask questions. So you can ask questions about maybe the key points or you can ask questions about something else or if you can remember, you can ask, you vaguely remember that somebody said something, you can ask questions about that as well. You can say, is there a question about this or how did speaker number one or, or supervisor or whatever it is, how did they talk about this or what did they say on that topic or why did they criticize this or that because uh, the summary that you will get of course it may miss something i believe i haven't used it enough to know how good and accurate it is and and also you never know if the things that it pays attention to are the things that you in fact want to pay attention to as well so so there may be things it just simply did not uh, summarize so you can still go and ask questions about it. There are many other things that this tool can do, but for now I'm just focusing on this strategy, on our scenario where you had your supervision and now you have your transcript and you're trying to turn it into something actionable. So like I said, it will summarize it. You can also ask it specifically about the key points or you can ask it about the, uh, the key steps uh, or what you need to do for next supervision, for example. So here we have a nice list of actionable insights. But before we continue, remember that if you're struggling with any aspect of your studies, including but not limited to writing your dissertation or thesis, planning or conducting your research study or analyzing your data, feel free to reach out my website for a variety of services that I offer, which aim to help you get to that finish line. I'm sure there are other tools or similar tools or same uh, sort of tools online. There's another one called NodeGPT. I would also uh, suggest that you explore it. I know it's not free, but there are uh, some tools, some things in that tool that are free. And then, of course, there's some pricing structure. Uh, it does seem to be pretty cheap. I did have a look and it's I think it's around two dollars or two British pounds. Can't remember a month. So if you like it, if there are lots of things that you like, then again, I believe it's probably pretty affordable. But I have no idea. I have no idea what it does. I just know that the functionality looks uh, seems to be very similar to that tool I just discussed which is completely free, but I do recommend that you, you have a look and decide. And finally, you can also use ChatGPT. So that's another thing, of course, we all now know uh, ChatGPT. We have all tried to play around with it uh, for a little bit, I believe. So you can also use it. You can also uh, upload your transcript into ChatGPT. Again, I'm losing track of what's possible, what's not possible with all the free and, and paid versions. I do have the plus, so the paid version, but I believe you can upload transcripts to ChatGPT now for free. If you can't, then you can just copy and paste the, the text from the transcript. But basically, you can feed the transcript into ChatGPT and also ask intelligent questions. So you can ask it to summarize the key points. You can ask anything just like you would in that Notebook LM tool that I just described. The only difference is that, of course, Notebook LM or the other tool uh, that I mentioned, they are specifically designed for that. So I would say the, the layout and everything's a little bit better and you still have access to it later, you, you can come back to it. So because it's designed for that purpose, maybe it's a little bit more aesthetically and visually 
uh, attractive and user friendly. But at the end of the day, you can also use ChatGPT for the same purpose. And now, finally, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you can also decide if the, the summaries and the key insights and actionable, actionable points are not enough. You can also decide to create a mind map, either based on these summaries and actionable points or simply based on that original transcript. So you can do that as well. Here it's a little bit different because I haven't, to be honest, I haven't experimented with that thought uh, for long enough to know which tools are best and which are not, and also which are free and which are the cheapest. But here are a few tools that you can use for that purpose. The first one is called Mapify. Mapify? <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it. It's really good. You can see it on my screen. You can see how it's turning Rachel's, who's, who's this imaginary person. I use ChatGPT to generate a sample transcript from a PhD supervision. So here it is Rachel. You can see how it's turned the transcript from that PhD supervision into a nice mind map. You can move it around, you can explore it. It's pretty impressive. However, I do know that it's not a free tool. So I'm not sure you, you can have a look and decide the pricing. I don't know what that is. And the second one is Node GPT, which is something I already discussed. So when I talked about this is a second tool for creating the summaries I mentioned. And the one that I mentioned is pretty cheap. It is not free, but I believe it was around $2 at the time when I was looking at it. So it also has this functionality to create mind maps. I'm not uh, sure how good it is, because uh, when I tested it, it didn't do as well as that Mapify tool, was, which is all about creating this visual. So you'd of course expect it to be pretty good. But it's just something, uh, some ideas for you to experiment with. And then finally, you can also use ChatGPT to do it for free. So again, you can upload uh, this transcript or you can copy and paste the transcript and you can simply ask ChatGPT to create a mind map showing the key points during the supervision. Uh, this is something that I obviously paid less attention to because I don't think it's as good as the other part of the video where it's all about really good uh, points and summaries and insights. Whereas here it's all about the visuals. I personally would not really find much value in a mind map showing the key points from the supervision. But because I know there are plenty of different types of learners, I decided to also give you that tip. So this is it. I hope that you learned something new from this video. If you did, please like it and let others know. Comment underneath if you know any other tools, if you're using any other tools. I'm really interested in hearing about all these tools. I'm learning about these new tools constantly from my students, from my children, which is where I found out about the tool, the main tool I discuss in this video which is Notebook LM. I had to check it. I forget, I keep forgetting the name. So do let me know what you're using and I'll see, I'll play around and maybe record another video on a similar topic.